Hey everybody, Old Guy Gamer here playing City Skylines. I decided I was gonna build a, a tiny house neighborhood. So I was thinking about just building a whole new neighborhood. Like I built these little H shaped neighborhoods over here. Um, sooner or later I'll fill them all in so they look like this. And I was talking about making a neighborhood of tiny homes because I liked the look of little bitty houses like this on two by two squares, like this right here. There's one here. Um, so I was wanting to make a whole neighborhood of just two by two houses, like uh, zoning plots. But I got to figure out a road network that would be best suited for two by two zoning. You know what I'll do is I'll I'll zone this little area two by two houses and just see how it works because we've got a little bit of demand now. I'm going to leave the corners available for commercial. Hmm. So this little T intersection, see how it leaves a row of two behind it? Let's see how this turns out and looks. Oh, it's like a three flat. What is that little blue building there? Some parking underneath it with an exit. There's a little cottage. I like that. Oh, that's actually kind of a big house on a two by two. How many households there? Okay, just one there. That's all one household. I thought that was a three flat. That's all one house. That's cool looking. And this is one household. One household. So I wonder now if I fill in the rest of these two by twos, if they will continue to be two by two houses, or will could this little section hook up with this section and do a four by two house? I wonder. But I've got parks now, so let's small playground. There we go. That should probably go over by the school, though. I wish I could put it on the end of a road. Like where the road would dead end right into it. I wonder if the move it mod would do that. I know I've got this traffic mod up here that I don't use, but... I wonder if a move it mod would allow you to put a street dead ending right into the entrance of a park. I mean, I've seen that in real life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me try something weird. You know what? Let me try the path first. Number one, because I want to see if I can put the dog park on it. And number two, I wonder if I can build a house on it. So you won't let me do that. I wonder if I can put the dog park here. And then just do walking paths around it. Get a little bit of a happiness boost. Will it let me build a walking path wherever I want? There we go. That's what I wanted to do. All right. Now we've got a dog park next to the school, connected to a neighborhood of tiny houses. Let's go back and zone in the rest of these little 2x2 two two squares and see what happens. Just enough to not have to de destroy that house on the corner. Okay, let's do more zoning. I like how it's putting trees in automatically, that's cool. Oh, it wasn't that, it was this. There's the gravel path. I could do this. Just to make it look like the road extends, but it doesn't because it's a path. What's up, copper? I said I was going to do something where I connect the, connect the neighborhood with cars on one end and then a path on the other. I might do that still because that leaves me a good spot to a bus stop, maybe. And this one's going to be kind of hard to connect. Actually, you know what? I could do this. That makes no sense. There we go. My goodness. That was a lot of destruction just to gain two or three houses. There we go, that's what I wanted to do. That made more sense. Let me get off the water 
page. I don't, I don't really have a set pattern that I can use for my little tiny home neighborhood. I just need to kind of experiment more. I guess what I need to do is just build a road pattern that's small, tight, congested, whatever, and then see how it looks, see how it works. There we go. So we've got four wide between the roads. So we gotta go out six. Well, I don't know what the best... I wanted it to be interesting. That's boring. I mean, at least this is an H pattern. But I didn't want to waste any land. Yeah, let's do that. I could just... Who cares if it's not perfect? Because it's really just showcasing the fact that someone's chosen to live in tiny homes. So... Let's uh, zone a few. Of course, I did an odd amount. You moron. I gotta satisfy some industrial demand, so let me take care of this real quick. At least that looks close. It's not perfect, but it looks right. Okay. We're just gonna let them fill it up however they want. We're just gonna do it all. Now it'll be connected pretty soon. Let's go back to our tiny house. Try to zone in some more here. What I could have done was left space for a path in the back. That way tiny home people could have a path in the backyard that leads to other parts of the tiny house neighborhood. But I wasn't planning that far ahead. So now we got to remember in the future. So let's do that now. Let's build another row. Five, six, seven. Oh boy, from the sky it's going to look awful, but if you're living here it's not going to be so bad. Now what I could do is do another path like through the middle like this. Then people could really get around this neighborhood. A lot of commercial demand. It's easy enough. Well, there you go. There's our little small town, tiny house neighborhood. And there should be, like, one household per... I actually think... Wait until the ambulance goes by. I actually think that this kind of neighborhood looks more realistic than... A lot of times I see people on, on YouTube, they'll do videos for this game, and their blocks are, like, tiny. I mean, you know, four houses on a block is not realistic. Having... One, two, three, four, five, six, twelve houses on one street? That's a good block. More demand for commercial, huh? Um, maybe I'll make this little rail right here a lot of commercial. There's room for one. Yeah, let's do a little downtown area here. That'll work. We are getting to the point where... Okay, we have a little bit of money. That's good. I need to put some more parks in, I think. Because people will not be happy if I only have that one park over here by the school. And that was a dog park. I put it over here and then do a path down the center. You know, do a path like this, cutting through the long block. Or it would lead to a park like that. Got a path right here leading to nowhere. I could put a park there. We're gonna park here, park there. That would that would give me nice double coverage on a park in this general vicinity. Or 26, 28, so half would be 14. There or there. Should be where the path go or the park goes. Of course, I can't see it. Oh my gosh. We'll build our park there. That's going to drive up zone. Holy cow, did you see the residential demand jumped up like crazy right there? All right, let me leave a little path there. I want to give lots of opportunities for people to get to this park. Right into the entrance. Boom. We got birds. Okay. Lots and lots of activity over here. And we got 60,000. And call for more medical. So let's do a medical facility. 
Yeah, I think that'll work because... Let me explain why I put it there. It's If this road gets upgraded later to be continued through and upgraded, this hospital clinic thing will be right off of that main road. But right now it's got lots of connectivity to this neighborhood with walking paths and all that. There's actually a walking path going right up to the front door, so that's kind of cool. I guess the park will be a continuation of the walking path. I'm not going to put walking paths around the park, but the park itself has the walking path in it. So maybe I'll just start that walking path going straight out this way. So I can kind of connect it up to this road somehow. And that might be a good place for a high school. We shall see. I'll tell you what. We will end the video. We've done a little bit of building here. Let's, uh, let's fill in the gaps. Let's take a look at this zoning. we got commercial all along here, actually. Let's fill in a couple more gaps of commercial. Another one there, another one there. And then we will end the video by filling in the gaps with the residential. Oh, you know what? This one right down here, there's three blocks instead of two. Oh, it's because I put the path in and started at the path working this way. That's what it was. That's how my numbers got weird. Because there's an even number of blocks this way on the block. And when I put the path through here, taking up one, that means there's still an even number on this side, but there's an odd number on this side. Now we're going to have a bunch of little houses. I want to put the residential right next to the commercial there. I can just do that. And one of these days we'll learn how to do policies and like set up this neighborhood so maybe it's like more pedestrian friendly or bicycle friendly or green thinking of a neighborhood. Like this is old town. We did what we had to do to survive. Um, you know, that first L strip was just to get to from the power plant over in that corner to the industrial sewage dump over in that corner. That survival video was actually pretty good. And then we've got our old town, which was basically just trying to make some money. And now we can get into a little bit newer neighborhood with a little bit fancier setup, so to speak. So these two blocks here might be the example of how we go forward expanding this neighborhood this way, because I do like the walking paths. I'm not saying I'll tear out these three blocks to redo them, but that might be what we do, because this this two block span is a way better setup than this three block span. Oh, oh, oh well, whatever. You know, that's the quirky differences in neighborhoods. We learned something from doing the first three as opposed to the last two, so that's the way we'll go forward. And people are still complaining about medical coverage, but... And this one would be over by industrial. Maybe I should put it here. That covers a lot of industrial and the brown houses. Yeah, let's just splurge. We'll do that. Uh, I don't know what we're going to do next time. You'll have to stop back in and see. We built a whole other industrial... It's funny, I built this little industrial section over here and I didn't even think about it. I did it just because there was a high industrial demand. And now there's low industrial demand, so... We met the demand by building a little four street and just packing it full of yellow zoning just to meet the demand. Tell you what, before we leave, let's just plop a power plant. Because we're going to be running out of power anyway. This sewage plant is going to be a problem running out of power until we get a more permanent solution. So let's just plop another power plant just to appease this corner. Because this sewage output has been a thorn in my side since I started this city. Because the power plant is way over there. So at least now I won't have that problem. But before we go, let's just turn this budget down. And then we will look at electricity. Um, I don't know if it just hasn't had time to change yet or if I turn the budget too far down. There we go. Now let's see if we have enough coverage. Just barely. I was hoping that'd be enough. And now there's crime in the city. Anyways, leave me your comments. Let me know what I should do. There's a big, I mean, it's a big, odd-shaped city. I didn't really focus on building up one area first. So let me know what you think I should do next. Come back next time and find out. Until then, you guys go watch some more videos, and I'll go play some more games. I'm Old Guy Gamer. Bye.